first of all, you know, Hank has learned from, you know, being around Stevie, you know, being around Nick, you know, great leaders, you know, in the locker room on the ice. And he just, Hank just has a, a quiet confidence and composure about him that I think sets a tone for, for the rest of the locker room and the rest of the guys. And, uh, you know, he, he's a guy that, uh, you know, you want, you know, he's he's a guy you want as a leader. He, he brings it every day, whether it's in practice or games. And, you know, he just he makes everyone else, you know, kind of, you know, relax, calm down a little bit. And, Kind of, you know, the confidence he shows on the ice each and each and every game and each and every day kind of I think spills over to the rest of the guys. And, you know, when something needs to be said, he, he says something kind of like you know Nick did when he was here. But uh, you know, I think I think more than anything, he you know he shows he shows you this play on the ice. Um, oof, there's a lot of things. I mean, I think he stepped in right away from from. I mean, I didn't have Nick. Uh, for that long, but but uh, uh, Hank, uh, you know, he, he's an everyday. He brings it every day, uh, on and off the ice. Uh, you know, he's the guy who, who gets our, our team ready uh, mentally. You know, on the ice, he uh, he's the best player uh, uh, every night. And, and uh, I think compared to uh, Nick, he, he might be a little bit more vocal, although he's not. Um, too vocal. I mean, I mean, he's 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 uh, he does a great job of, of uh, uh, you know uh, making sure that that everyone's on the same page. If, if we're um, you know having a bad period, you know, he's the one that, that gets us going for the next one. And, and uh, uh, I think his his play out there shows that he's our big leader. Uh, well, his, his playoffs, you know, just speak for himself. Um, you know, he. Uh, he delivers, you know, he delivers in, the, in big moments and, uh, he, you know, when the game's on the line, uh, you always, you're always looking to see where Forty is out on the ice because, uh, you know, more times than not, he's got something to, to do with, uh, you know, what transpires out there. Just his leadership qualities and begin to kind of fit that role. I mean, he, uh, it's a, he's, a, he's a guy that proves it on the ice, does it uh, on a daily basis, and also he's very vocal in the room when, when you need to be, uh, I guess, when the boys need to be told a few things, uh, maybe kind of like kicking the butt to kind of get the guys going. And I think he uh, possesses all those qualities. And I mean, for sure, having Nick Lindstrom has kind of uh, been here before him, taught him probably already just followed in his footsteps and he, he learned a lot of those things so um, I, th I just think he, he he hones all those kind of qualities to be one of those uh, big-time franchise uh, captains that we've seen with the Red Wings for many years.